I'm joined by Kendall Schmidt of Heffron Drive. Yes, hello. It's good to see you. It's, it's been you, forever. You too. Congratulations on everything with Heffron Drive. Thank you. You guys just wrapped up a summer tour. We did, yeah. So just got back. Best part of the tour. Philly's always a great place to go play because the crowd's always amped up. And then in between the tour, we ended up flying to Italy and, so and cool. played a couple shows, but then really honestly had like three days off at the beach. Nice. So, so that was, I mean, a highlight. To yeah. Say the yeah. Well, I saw, and I saw some paparazzi pictures of you in Italy because you're like a really, not that you're not a big deal here, but you're a really big deal yeah, in Italy. I guess, I guess uh, <laughs> they must have been bored, but um, <laughs> no, it was funny. Like, and I had even talked to him a lot like while I was there, cause they were always around. And so I would just kind of chat it up with them. And then there was one day where I was really trying just to like go chill. And I look all the way across like a hundred yards and these guys are like behind a pole, like snapping. How photos. do you react? Like what's your, that do you play cool? Well, that particular day I went up to him and I was like, guys, look, we talked about this. Like, <laughs> You actually got an award in Italy too. I did. I heard about, which is a pretty big deal. Yeah, it, Pronounce it because yeah, I feel like I'm sure it's hard for everyone who reads it. Uh, it's, it was hard for me the first time. Okay, Ischia wanna... Global uh, Film Festival, Film Music Festival Award Icon Award. That's awesome. And I heard Selena Gomez has received it. Vanessa Hudgens. She was there the last year. Vanessa Hudgens. So that was you know really cool to be in the same category. And honestly, like the amount of attention and love that's come from Italy in the last year has been really cool. Yeah. So I'm just you know. It's, it's cool. Yeah. I'm really happy about it. That's so exciting. Well, and you obviously did so much touring with Big Time Rush. How is yeah. your touring now different than uh, then? Is it completely different? It's completely different. <laughs> uh, well, Big Time Rush was in like six, seven buses. Oh uh, two for just the, the four of us. We each had a bus. Uh, running around like this is like... Like VIP. Uh, like I mean super... like spoiled. Spoiled. You're going to say brats. Brats. <laughs> really, honestly, I look back and I go like, man... That, you had it good. Yeah, had it so good and like spoiled. Yeah, but that's but now you you appreciate. I the appreciate fact it. That um, but no, this was fun. I mean, we were running around in a sprinter. All the drives were like three hours, so we ended up just staying in hotels every night. So right. it was like we needed something to get the gear and us around. Sprinters are cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Like I would have one. <laughs> like really, I would own a sprinter just to have it. Yeah. Because like you can do a lot in this. <laughs> Your single, Don't Let Me Go, is your, your newest <laughs> yeah, single. Yeah, good transition I know. from Sprinter Vans to the single. So, <laughs> um, Don't Let Me Go, it's, yes. it's a, diff a little bit of a different sound. Mm -hmm. Your sound's yeah. evolved a bit. Um, talk to me kind of about that. Even though it was an, uh, not exactly a typical Heffron Drive song, I think it's up to us as musicians to constantly expand our musical horizons Absolutely. and release stuff. So. You know, that was that. And like, honestly, the next one, the next Heffron Drive single sounds nothing like. Really? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So was it like a certain mood you were in when you were writing oh, in the studio yeah. or was it? Yeah. And I love electronic music. So yeah. for me, it's like, you know, a little bit of getting to mess around with the stuff that I listen to all the time. <laughs> you have a n next single coming out very soon. Can you tell so, me about it? I can't tell you when or what well, or how. This is what, why are we doing this interview? But I can tell you, no, <laughs> I can tell you that um, I would like the song to be out before the end of the year. Okay. So what's the song about? The song is about love. Okay. Uh, it's about happy love or sad love. It's about not wanting to be alone. Okay. What? Can you give me a lyric from the song? Oh, man. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, I will give you a lyric. Oh yeah. There's a line that says, uh, "I can't take another night with the alternative." I can't take another night with the alternative. Yeah. I like that. I don't want to give away the beginning part because that's the title of the okay, song. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're like excited. A, uh, you haven't really released a, a full album since 2014, so this is a big deal. Yeah, well, look, putting that album out was hard. Yeah, I believe it. Because I went from having everything done for me to having to do everything. And that was like, you know, there's 100 people doing a job to put a record out. Yeah. And I'm like doing all the songs. I'm uh, a and ring which ones should go there. Believe me, there was like 50 other songs that have been written for that album. Yeah. So there's tons of music ready. What the story is going to be told through this album that's going to be coming out? It's growth. You know, the growth of being in the music business. Like Rain Don't Come is a metaphor for not not just the music business, life of, mm -hmm. of like really trying your best and not achieving what you want. And so you just keep <clears throat> trying harder and don't let me go obviously is a bit of a sort of melancholy feeling. Um, I envision it as ending up in a happy place, but it's like love and struggle, mm -hmm. you know, 
do you have any idea as when fans can expect it or do it, you guys the, the album will be definitely be next year <laughs> okay any collabs well collabs definitely are in the works I'm trying to get people like rather than do a song and say hey what do you think record your voice like mm -hmm. I'm trying to collab in the whole song what has been the biggest lesson you've learned this year? I think I've learned perseverance pays off, okay. right? Nobody wants to do something they don't love. I, I think that that's a universal thing. I've learned it all over the world. People are always jealous of musicians because musicians get to make music mm -hmm. for fun and we get to perform. So I'm always trying to uh, encourage people to do what they love. I usually only just talk about business and stuff <clears throat> on my Twitter and then I'm like, I really do have a lot of people following me. I should spread some message and it should be a good one. That's so, you get a high five. I was actually gonna ask you, because I did notice that you've been tweeting a lot of quotes lately, so mm -hmm. I was gonna ask you, like, what's your quote to live by? Find your passion and mm -hmm. run with it, anything is possible. Sort of, okay. Um, and that's like my, if I had a quote that someone would, you know, do the dash, Kendall Schmidt wrote that, that would be it. Find your passion Find and your run passion. with it. Anything is possible. Um, I love that Stan Big Time Rush was trending on Twitter. I love it too. I think it's great. Would you guys ever do a reunion? Or Absolutely. What? Yeah. But is it something that you guys have had a conversation about? We've like, talked about it. And some people, you know, it's not. it has nothing to do with all four of us not being interested. It's that all four of us are differently focused right now. Some are like, I really have to do my own thing. Really have to. And then others are like, I'm willing to float around. So like, I don't know. I think everyone is just so focused on their own individual lives. I mean, Carlos is having a baby. Yeah. Like, there's no, this is no time for him to go yeah. on a reunion anyway. A reunion tour. A reunion tour anyway. So he's got some time, you know, becoming a new father and stuff before I think he's even ready yeah. for that. But in the so, future. In the future, absolutely 100%. And I don't even think it's even in the far future. You heard it because here. Because I don't want to do that when I'm like hurting. What song are you most excited to perform? Boyfriend. Okay. What is, I'm curious, what's like your best memory from being in Big Time Rush. Those shows, they all blend together, but then you look back, like there were so many crowds of like tens of thousands of people. And that, I look back on it and I think like, oh man, I was standing there in front of all those people, like that's really cool. That's cool. What, now do you still get fans tweeting you like saying like you changed their lives and, and like fun? Yeah, all the, like I mean, a lot, not all like the time, still. but but you know, not infrequently. Mm -hmm. um, and I write a lot of tattoos. That's, so, that's great. That's so cool. Which actually. is totally full circle because I always wanted a tattoo from one of my favorite artists. What, what did you want? Well, I wanted to get a tattoo from Brandon. Well, I didn't want him to tattoo me, obviously, <laughs> but Brandon Boyd is a great artist. I wanted him to draw something. And now people ask me and I go like, yeah, I'd love to do that. Yeah. You know what I love? I think people forget is that um, One Direction opened up for you guys on a tour. I guess people do forget it. I, I like think that that's Frequently, so it's the opposite where it's like, you guys opened for One Direction You're on like, tour. No, like, no, 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 no. Get it straight. Come on. Get it, get it straight. <laughs> um, if you could give your younger self advice knowing what you know now about the industry, about life, what would be your advice? Well, in, in the music industry, there's a relative amount of playing ball with the powers that be. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it is a business and it's a big business. So like, I would tell myself to pay more attention. Mm -hmm. um, and also like, I have a lot of great relationships that keep me going now and I think I would just maybe nurture them more. Hmm. Awesome, thank you so much for hanging out with thank us. Thank you, it was good to You're see awesome. you. You're awesome, side hug. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We will see you again later, bye. bye.